Will Bartley, Bakayoko or Louise come back into contention for this match? No. They are out. Have you any fresh injury concerns going into the game? No. No. All the places are available. It was a terrific performance against Barcelona during the week. What was different about that performance to the ones against Watford and Bournemouth? Bye. Uh, yeah, for sure, two, two different performance, uh, performances. Uh, mm, yeah, after after uh, uh, Bournemouth game, uh, Watford game, and after two bad defeats, uh, I think that uh, uh, yeah, uh, we won. We won uh, before against West Brom, then a good game against the Hull, and then a, another good game against uh, against Barcelona. Uh, can happen. Can happen that uh, you have a blackout and uh, to lose two games. Uh, also, if uh, I remember you, that uh, we lost two games in uh, different ways because uh, against Bournemouth, I think that uh, uh, we played, we created many chances to score. Instead, against Watford, was a was a, a really bad game for uh, for for us. But now uh, this is the past. Uh, positive or negative situation uh, are the past, and uh, for this reason, uh, we must be focused uh, for for the next game against uh, against United and to prepare in the right way. Because, uh, as you know very well, uh, we are talking about a really a really strong team, a really good team uh, with uh, with a lot of fantastic players. You can draw a level with Manchester United with a win on Sunday. You can also move four points ahead of. Tottenham before, uh, sorry, after if they lose to Crystal Palace, does it feel like a a significant game this weekend, a big game? Uh, we have to look at ourselves and uh, to understand that uh, uh, from now on until the end, every game is very is very important. Uh, to get three points, uh, it will be very important for us. Uh, it will be very important for for United. Uh, and uh, because uh, the run for for a place in Champions League uh, is open. And uh, I repeat, we must pay great attention because in this run uh, there are many, uh, many, many great teams, and uh, someone has to stay out from the next Champions League. Manchester United have had some criticism recently of their performances. What have you made of United's performances of late? But, uh, United uh, is uh, is always uh, dangerous. It's always dangerous because his squad is very strong. Uh, um, there are uh, there are a lot of players. The squad is uh, is big, and uh, fantastic players. Uh, and, uh, and this team uh, uh, also is uh, is is very um, a physical team. They have a great physicality, and uh, yeah, we must pay great attention because when you play against the United. Uh, uh, you have to know that uh, anything can happen, and uh, there is the risk to to, lo to lose the game. Because I repeat, uh, we are pl uh, you are playing against uh, a really strong team, but massive game for us, and uh, we have to do the best to put uh, uh, yeah, 100. Uh, I repeat, 20 20 percent of our, uh, our strength. And to try to get three points, uh, it will be difficult. But uh, we have to try to do this. A lot's been made of your exchange of words with Jose Mourinho. You, you called him a, a little man, a fake. You said you won't forget some of the things he said. Do you plan to speak to him at all on Sunday? No, I think they said in the in the, in the past uh, both uh, said the uh, said the things, and uh, okay for me it's okay, and. Uh, I'm not inter interested uh, uh, to, to speak about uh, uh, about this topic. Can you confirm if, if there will be a handshake between you? No, no, I'm not interested in this. There won't be a handshake, or you won't confirm. So just to, just no, to be clear. I'm not interested in this. You managed uh, Paul Pogba at, at Juventus. Are you expecting him to play on Sunday to start the game? Yeah, we are talking uh, uh, a top players. Uh, we are talking. Uh, about a fantastic player, uh, uh, yeah, I have expectations to to see him on on the pitch. Then, uh, if uh, he stays out, uh, it will be better. And drawing on your 
from the experience of managing Paul Pogba, how do you get the best out of a, a player like him? No, but uh, as I said before, and uh, we are talking about a top player, a top player, and uh, and then every coach uh, has to find the right uh, the right way to to manage him. Yeah, and, uh, but I think that Pogba is showing. Uh, 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 in uh, United uh, as well, that he's uh, is a top player. Have you been surprised he hasn't been, been starting recently for United? But uh, I must be honest, my focus is only for Chelsea, and uh, I'm not interested uh, uh, in what happened in the other team. Yes. Thank you very much. How much confidence will your players take out of what was a good performance against Barcelona on Tuesday? Yeah, I think I think that uh, this uh, this performance uh, uh, can bring uh, 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 great confidence, uh, but at the same time, this performance uh, can bring uh, the uh, uh, yeah to think that uh, if uh, we work, if we are ready to work uh, very hard uh, uh, as a team, and uh, it's, it's very difficult. It's, it's, it's very difficult to uh, to play against uh, against us. I think this is uh, uh, the great uh, teachment about this uh, after after this uh, this game. Did you need to put an arm around Christensen after the, the, the mistake he made on Tuesday, or was he? Did he have the self belief and self confidence to just bounce back on his own, or did you need to put an arm around him? <laughs> no, but uh, uh, personally, I forgot I forgot his mistake, and uh, uh, also. Also for him, also for him, and uh, uh, when when you are a player and uh, during your career uh, you can make a lot of mistakes. Uh, and uh, if I have to to talk about my mistakes during my career, and we stay here uh, for one day, and uh, but I think that it doesn't matter uh, to you. Uh, but Christensen uh, uh, is playing, as playing, uh, as having a fantastic season. And uh, he's showing great maturity, and for me, uh, apart uh, apart the mistake, uh, uh, his performance was uh, was great, was uh, was fun, wonderful, and uh, uh, I have a lot of uh, I trust I trust Christians, and I think that uh, this player is the present uh, uh, a present player for Chelsea, and uh, also for the future for 10, uh, 12 years. And uh, he can become also the, the captain of this uh, of this team uh, uh, in uh, in the future. It's a big game on Sunday. Is it a game as a player that you would have liked to have played in? Is, it, is this your kind of game? It's be a physical game, be a probably a cagey game. I mean, United aren't the most exciting team to watch, are they? Is this the kind of game that you would want to play in as a player? But uh, now, now uh, we. we we have to play this game because of uh, the future uh, and uh, tell this, no? And uh, we have to, uh, the schedule uh, tell this that uh, we have to play against, uh, against United. Uh, for sure, this is a massive game. Uh, this is not a simple game, uh, especially when you go to play away, you play at uh, Old Trafford. It's not simple to play. Uh, but at the same time, I think uh, after a good game uh, that we played against Barcelona, uh, these tests uh, uh, are very important for us uh, to, uh, yeah, to see to see our reaction, to see our uh, approach in a, in a difficult uh, atmosphere. Okay, and Antonio, you mentioned for this game about taking a risk. Um, <laughs> what do you mean by taking a risk? And, and is that by saying that you're going to put everything on the line for this match? Uh, to take the risk. Uh, yeah, you're going, to, you're going to risk your tactics to, to win the game, to win at all costs. No, I think I think that uh, um, uh, when uh, when uh, you want to try to to get three points, when you want to try to to uh, to win, uh, uh, you mustn't lose uh, your balance. And uh, 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 what means uh, to take risk? I think that uh, we have to play with a great balance, with a great uh, uh, intelligence. And uh, to understand the way that we uh, we have to attack, to understand that uh, uh, in counter attack uh, Manchester United, uh, uh, they are master with players like uh, Lukaku and uh, uh, Lingard, uh, 
Sanchez, Mata, Marțial, um, mi-a spăgrit atenția, una forțură, uh, we have to play a, an important game, an important game with great intention, otherwise uh, you risk to lose. If you do beat United, it will be only the fourth time that Chelsea have done the league double over United. How big an achievement against a fellow top six side do you think that would be? If you if you win against United, yeah. how big an achievement will it be to, to win? To Four beat them. league doubles. Yeah, to, be, to beat them doubles. twice in a season. Yeah, I think I think. Uh, 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 <laughs> I consider a big achievement if uh, if you are able to win something uh, after a season. And otherwise, uh, uh, if you are happy because uh, you win uh, only one game against a big team, uh, it means that your mentality is very is very uh, uh, little. Mm -hmm. You have uh, you don't have a great mentality. Uh, a big achievement for uh, for us uh, if we are able to. Uh, uh, Yeah, to uh, to win uh, to win something to uh, to be able uh, to to take the, the target that uh, uh, you started the season with with this in uh, your mind. Yeah, mm, I repeat, this is a massive game, uh, but uh, uh, for sure, uh, if we win, uh, uh, we, are, we are we are happy. But then uh, there are uh, ten games to go. And uh, we have to yeah, we have to enjoy the moment to win, but at the same time to understand that uh, the season is very long. Final one from me: um, Olivier Giroud scored at Old Trafford for Arsenal last season. Is he going to start this match? Do you know who you're going to start with? Obviously, different tactics against Barcelona. There was no Morata or Giroud. Yeah, I think I think that, uh, Olivier uh, is working very well for uh, with us and. Uh, Uh, I'm pleased. I'm pleased because uh, uh, it seems that uh, he stays with us for uh, for a long time and not for uh, for only two two weeks. And uh, yeah, for, for for the game for tomorrow's game is in contention. Is in contention, and uh, we'll see. We'll see uh, which are uh, my final decision for the start eleven. <coughs> Carry, please. Antonio, you had quite a bit of bad luck when you went. To the Old Trafford last time, you had Thibaut Courtois injured, and you lost Marco Alonso in the warm-up. How key have those two players been to Chelsea this season? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Last season, uh, yeah, I remember, and uh, Alonso uh, uh, was injured uh, during the warm-up, but. Uh, As I said before, uh, uh, it's not simple to play uh, at Old Trafford, uh, not only for uh, for Chelsea, but for every team, because uh, um, you find a, a, a fantastic atmosphere. You have to play against a really strong opponent, and uh, yeah, I think for this reason uh, we have to prepare the game uh, very well with great focus, with, with great concentration. I think in this type of game, and uh, for me, it's very simple uh, to, to prepare the game because uh, there is great concentration, there is a great focus, there, there is, uh, uh, you know, you know that you are going to play a, a massive game, an important game against a, a strong team. Eden Hazard was well marked out of that game. William coming into the side really does cause a handful for the team to know who they really mark against. He said he'd like to score a hat-trick at Old Trafford because he's so nearly scored one in the last two matches. How much more of an opportunity does he give you? But, uh, for us, uh, for us uh, uh, it's important to... Uh, to play a, a good a good game uh, to try to uh, to get three points and then uh, if uh, uh, if score uh, hazard uh, william uh, pedro morata Giroud, or, or courtois is the same is the same the most important thing is to that we have to to think as a team as a team and to play as a team To, uh, to be ready to, to help each other.
because uh, uh, I repeat on Sunday, uh, it won't be easy. It won't be easy because uh, you are talking about uh, about Manchester United, about a really strong team. When Manchester United came to Stamford Bridge and lost, I asked Jose Mourinho why they couldn't create enough opportunities, and he said, "Don't make me talk about Pogba because Pogba was injured." and he was missing him. Is he that influential when he's at his best that he can command a whole performance? No, but... Um, as, as I said before, I think that uh, I, I'm... Uh, I'm really fo focused uh, on my team, and uh, I don't like I don't, I don't like to go and uh, to watch what happened uh, uh, in the other team, and then uh, to to give uh, uh, opinion. I think there's a lack of respect, and uh, I repeat, we have to to look at ourselves and to try to do uh, our best uh, on Sunday. But as a team you're coming up against. Can he command, can he pull a whole team together and dictate a performance? Carrie, that's the same question. I think he's been quite clear. Let's go up to the back. Yep, yeah, thank you. Uh, Antonio, when you uh, play Manchester United at Old Trafford and you're in this race for the top four, do you have to consider going for the win or would a draw be um, you know, a good enough result? But I, I, think, I think that uh, you have to start, uh, uh, to start uh, the game with the... Uh, with only one target uh, in uh, in uh, your mind, uh, in your head, uh, and to try to get three points, and uh, uh, I think uh, this is very important for the mentality. Uh, um, if you have a, a winning mentality, you uh, uh, you you try to uh, to reach only 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 one uh, uh, one result to try to win. Then uh, during the game. Uh, uh, can it can happen a, a lot of of, of situations, and uh, uh, yeah, I draw, I draw. Uh, if if you draw uh, against against United, uh, yeah, it could be also a good result. Uh, but uh, uh, only after that you try to play uh, to to win. But in the last season, for example, uh, and uh, we lost the game, and. Uh, uh, we must pay great attention because, I repeat, uh, we are talking about uh, a, fant a fantastic team with fantastic players. Which team, Chelsea or Manchester United, do you feel has the strongest squad? This is not important. Uh, yeah, I, I yet to think to, to my squad. OK, we need to start wrapping up this bit. Liam, please. Antonio, this will be the first time you've played Manchester United since they signed Alexis Sanchez. Um, you've spoken before about how you think he's a top player. How does he change your preparations for, for this game compared to previous matches? No, but I think I think that United was strong before and is strong is strong now. For sure, when when you add. Uh, a great player uh, uh, like uh, Sanchez, uh, you're strong, yeah? you're strong, yeah. But uh, but um, our situation doesn't change. Doesn't change. We have to prepare the game, uh, uh, yeah. With uh, our expect my, my expectation uh, to to see him uh, uh, on the pitch on the pitch uh, with. Uh, with the Lukaku, and then I don't know if another midfielder or, or another uh, uh, or a number ten.